Hi, Will for Sound on Sound here at the Summer Nam Show in Nashville with Henry French from Solomon Design. Now, Henry, yep. you're known for the Low Freak, which is a, a kick drum mic. Well, it would be a kick drum mic, but anything that creates more low end in the room mm -hmm. then gets to a recording or goes out through your PA. So, I mean, a lot of people still use them on bass rigs. Floor toms be another one. So, But yes, I'm sorry. But um, that is very much to fill a, a gap. There was a problem there, and you so, felt yeah. like you wanted to fill that gap. So there's another Absolutely. problem that people have been having. That's miking cajons, because what, yep. as a sound engineer, what do you do? Where do you put the mic? It always sounds terrible. It feeds back. Well, a lot of people, what they, we went and talked to cajon players as well as engineers, and what it came down to is the cajon tends to be an afterthought. Mm. I'll take care of the rest of the stuff on the stage, rest of the stuff in the studio, and we'll do the cajon afterwards. So a lot of people were getting what's left over of the mics. Mm. So there wasn't, here's how we do it. There was, okay, we'll do, we can do it with this. Um, and specifically, we had to address a couple very, very specific issues. Number one, feedback was an issue you mentioned. Using standard microphones to create that situation. The time for setup was part of it. And the last one was what the cajon player was hearing and what was going out to the PA were different. So this is how we came up with the puck, which is our, it's our cajon pickup. It is a tactile transducer, so it's no longer a mic that we're focused on. So the puck then, can you tell yeah. us about the a bit more about the technology inside it. How does it sure. work? Well, as I said, a tactile transducer. As opposed to microphones where you have to deal with outside sources and blending those on a stage or in the studio, we decided to take the sound directly off the structure and that addressed several things immediately. Number one, feedback. Feedback becomes very easy to deal with because you're taking the sound off the structure. To get feedback, it's going to have to go through the structure thereby give or take about 30% more headroom than you will with a microphone, whether it's inside, outside, whatever it is. The fact is, you also get isolation of the instrument itself. There's a better signal to noise ratio because again, it's coming off the structure itself. The time for setup, this takes about 10 seconds to set up because it's literally place it on the hole, give it a little bit of compression, place the L bracket, screw it in and you're done. No grabbing stands, no grabbing cords, no grabbing whatever mics are left over. Sound-wise, it tends to be, we skewed it towards mids and lows because those are the frequencies that most engineers have an issue with. You can certainly add, just like any mic, you're never gonna place it and walk away. You're gonna EQ it however you need to. You can certainly add plenty of high end if you wanna get a really, really snappy sound, but it gives them a, a rounder tone. You're hearing more of the wood, which is what the player hears and the engineer rarely does. Does that make sense? That makes sense, yeah. yeah. Great, so how much will this cost then and when will it be available to people? We start shipping, we should ship August 1st. So we're literally, we're about to go. We've got, we're already in production with these um, and we're shooting for August 1st being available. I know we're shipping over to the UK uh, right about that time. So I would assume towards the end of August will be available in the UK and Europe and in the United States available right around August 1. And price wise, $109 US. So one of the things we had to do, one of the questions we had to answer, we don't want to provide a microphone that costs more than the instrument. Yeah. So the price is still going to be a little bit less than that as well. It's an accessory, but it's an accessory that opens up a lot of options with a cajon. You can actually use this with pedals. This ends in a quarter inch. So you plug it into DI and you're good to go. But you can actually, now you can plug in your looper pedal. You can plug in, uh, you can plug in gain and plug in a fuzz pedal if you want. Reverbs and delays and EQ seems to be the most that we've seen people come back with. Sure. Cool. And um, just a little note on the construction of it. It looks like a, steady, uh, like a sturdily built thing. What, what is the construction? Aircraft aluminum. The enclosure is about the size of a hockey puck. That's what we call it, the puck, P-U-Q. But it's about the size of a hockey puck. So that's aircraft aluminum enclosure. The L bracket is also aircraft aluminum. Megami cable, Neutrik connectors, wired by hand and made in Indianapolis, Indiana. Amazing. Sounds good. Thanks, it's Henry. pretty good. I like it. Thank you.